Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bait. It's just me today. I will explain later through the video why. Um, got a cooking video for you today, not a baking video, a cooking video. We've got a frying pan, I've got all the ingredients set up. I'm going to get you guys on the tripod and let's crack on. Quick and easy cooking video. So, here we go. You will need a sea bass or whatever fish you want to cook with. We got two fillets of sea bass, measuring drug, and some else that's what I'll show you in a minute. Ground up salt and fresh pepper, two garlic cloves, juice of a lemon, two tablespoons of butter, another two tablespoons of butter, and a bowl which is for your measuring drug, instant mash. Quick and easy recipe. If you're home for lunch or whatever, you haven't got a, you don't know what to do, you've got an hour, bosh, done thing. This was actually, if you're a bit squeamish, just look away from the camera now. This was the fish. I've just took the fillets off, it was already gutted for me. And all the fins and everything chopped off. Um, so yeah, I didn't have to do much apart from just take the fillets off. Because um, you can cook it as a whole fish. But I just want to do it with just the fillets. And there are the fillets. So I'm just going to discard all the fish. <coughs> just going to stick him into our little food waste bin. There you go buddy. Yes, I did just say there you go buddy. Put that straight in the wash. <coughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the frying pan. Just like so. Voila. Just get you set up there. There we go. We're going to zoom in a bit. Like so, <clears throat> we need our butter, we need some salt and pepper. So, what you're going to do is, you're going to put your front, your mouth, your your butter straight in there. Turn the heat on. Nice low heat. As you can see, we're on a nice low heat. It's going to roughly take between four to eight minutes to cook your fish. We're just going to get this going first. Get this melted. You don't have to, but what I like to do is you meant to use this at the end, but I like to put a bit of just a little bit of flavouring in there, a bit of salt and pepper with that. Keep that butter going nicely. But turn your heat up just so it melts the butter a lot quicker. And then what we're going to do is you're going to put your fillets in there. Like I say, literally four to four to eight minutes. Um, it's not long at all. You're probably thinking, why didn't I catch the fish myself? Um, I did actually catch one a couple of weeks ago. But um totally forgot to film it and I actually cooked it in the garden over a little camping stove. <coughs> so I want to change the recipes up as well. We both want to do different recipes. Me and my mum, we've got cooking videos like this coming. Um, also, if you would like to see, I'm thinking about setting up a, probably another YouTube channel. 
um, like foraging um, wild plants basically like garlic um, foraging fruit uh, vegetables and bits like that basically as well as doing a bit of sea fishing and bits like that um, so if you would like to see more videos like this and let us know in the comments below if that's a good idea that's something that you really don't probably want to watch so we're just going to whack that down I am going to time this on my on my phone um, uh, just because I haven't got a clock handy with me so I'm just going to literally going to go four minutes to start off with and then we'll go from there like I say I'm cooking it on a low heat I'm just going to pan the, the camera down so you can see that oh Simon you're doing a rubbish job there you go there you go it's not on a high high heat it's on a low a lowish heat as you can tell it's not going to focus but you can see that so yeah when you haven't filmed for a while it's trying to get used to it again so sorry if the camera's jerking or shaking I apologize right so we're gonna go in there what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go um, skin down first okay um, try and get every bone out you can I mean if you can't it doesn't matter because you'll soon be able to pick them out when it's cooked so yeah nice and hot You're going to go in for about four minutes and we will check it. The idea of this as well is you want to just turn it once. Um, so always make sure, as you can you can probably see there already, um, on the outline it's already starting to cook pretty, pretty good. That's what a lot of people forget is actually they turn it constantly and then they wonder why they end up with raw fish. Sorry I am talking I'm just quickly trying to do just clean up these boards quickly that I've chopped the fish on. So it's cooking nicely, I'm back, just quickly uh, done all that. Like I say, you don't want a high heat, you don't want nothing spitting at us. <coughs> also in the meantime, while your, your fish is cooking, boil, boil your kettle, because you need some water for your instant mash. <coughs> There we go, that is actually cooking lovely. Obviously the fish is going to stick to the bottom, the skin and that. So I'm literally doing it four minutes on this side and then I will flip it over and cook the flesh for four minutes. As you can see the, the thinner sides have gone obviously white quickly but that doesn't matter you can take the skin off if you don't like the skin I just leave it on because if I don't like it I can just peel it off after anyway <coughs> so 
so nice quick easy video time is we're at nine minutes already into the video which is basically no time at all really obviously also just to prove that I did catch a me and my brother-in-law caught a fish and when we went fishing I've got a picture on my phone that I will show you it's a lot bigger than this fish it was about about a foot long and weighed about three pound it was a lovely size and tastes absolutely beautiful so yeah we've obviously got 20 seconds left on the clock before we're gonna flip them bad boys over and eat them and then while they're cooking on the other side I'm just gonna pan you over to the other uh, the other side cooking station and we will then crack on and do the mash quickly there we go we're gonna reset you and try and not get burnt in the process there we go, we're going to leave them to cook four minutes again on that side and we're just going to quickly, while they're cooking in there, we're just going to quickly come over here and here we are, zoom you guys back out again right, so, quick easy, not a lot of people like mash or instant mash. I'm not a fan of instant mash, but you know what? When you're in a rush and you haven't got time, you have to like it. Um, it's quick, easy, and simple. Basically, boiling hot water, 300 mil, 300 milliliters. There you go, that's 300 milliliters. What we're gonna do is gonna need a spoon as well. Okay, I'm just gonna move you guys along quickly. Just there, like that. Just pan you down. And straight in with the hot water. And stir. It will thicken up, it might take a while. You can season it with salt and pepper. If you don't like the taste, you want it sweeter. Lower a bit of sugar in there. You can throw herbs in there if you want. Um, it, it's totally up to you. If you're wondering what instant mash we used, it's just this bog standard Tesco's mash that we have sometimes. The kids, we bought it for the kids, just like quick and simple dinners basically. But they don't like it. Don't blame them. Um, I'm not really a fan of it. But yeah, so let's say you've got that, you're not a fan of mashed potato or instant mash. So we go over to here and it's this simple. Bit of basil. Shrink of a bit of basil in there. A little bit of salt and pepper. Give it a mix. You can add as much as you want just to taste so it tastes nice. But it's all about being quick, simple meals. So what we're gonna do is, I'm not gonna obviously eat both of these fillets, I'm gonna save one for dinner tonight. So we've got our mash ready. You're gonna wanna melt down this. Add your garlic in there, like so. I do apologise for getting in front of the camera. Garlic in there, two garlic cloves crushed, two tablespoons of butter, freshly squeezed lemon. You're going to want to blanch that down basically over over a, a, a pan or whatever you want to call it. There's the fish fillets going. We've got 20 seconds left. So I'm just once that's finished, I'm going to put the sauce on. This is making the sauce. It's a lemon and garlic uh, butter sauce. <coughs> so I'm just going to 
Sorry about the coughing, and if you're wearing headphones. And there we go. So we're just going to dismiss that, and let's have a look. Oh wow, look at that. Lovely and cooked. Just going to grab a plate to put them on. Yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. Two sea bass fillets cooked. Just going to put them to one side. Going to take away this. I'm going to get that bit of fish. I've made a right mess of my mum's cooker. Whoops. I will have to clean that or she will end up killing me. Not literally, by the way. Right, get our sauce going. I don't know if my camera's going to reach right over there. But we will have to try and have a look at reaching it over there you're at a slant at the minute so butter butter and garlic in there we want just to melt that all down and infuse we want the garlic to infuse we don't want to burn the garlic because then that's when it starts going all wrong and at the last minute that's when you put your lemon juice in but very carefully because that will just spit like it's doing now so on a low 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 heat if you're under the age of 18, get an adult to do this bit for you, please. Because I've been burnt so many times where basically I've not been watching and I've been very clumsy. So over a low heat, I've literally really turned that right down now, the heat. Just want that butter and garlic to infuse together. Couldn't resist myself. And now what we're gonna do is gonna slowly pour in our lemon juice. What we're gonna do is also put a bit of salt and pepper in there. Like so. And infuse all that together. Oh, it smells wonderful. I know that. So, there you go. That is your lemon and garlic butter. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to turn it off the heat, we're going to go over to this side where our workstation is and here we are I'm going to pan you guys out literally been 18 minutes I've not rushed this video <coughs> even though it might sound like I'm rushing I'm not we're going to get rid of that bit of skin that's burnt stick our fish fillet on there mashed potato How much ever mash you want, that is a bit too much because I don't really like this mash, but. Bit of salt and pepper. Just gonna sprinkle a bit over my fish. I'm gonna save him for later on. Garlic, lemon, and butter sauce. Gonna just take a little bit. And just, just gonna sprinkle that sauce over your fish like that. And you know what? Top it off. Gonna sprinkle over a little bit of basil because I can. Look at that. 20 minutes, quick 
quick and easy lunch or dinner if you're in a rush. Can't pull a fork out because I don't want to move the camera. I'm going to use the kid's fork. Let's move that here. Oh wow. That is a beautiful fish. Oh. That is quite nice, that lemon butter, I must say. Yeah, you can guess the mash. Yeah, tastes rank. Wow. Oh, I like that. That is gorgeous. That is blimmin' lovely. Mmm. Right, okay, I'll take you guys off trouble so you can see it a bit better. Ooh. Look at that. 20 minutes, and that is blimmin' heaven. The mash ain't too bad. Just tastes like. If you ever had it in some mash, you know what it tastes like, yeah. So there you go. Just pan you guys out. <clears throat> 20 minutes, quick meal, quick lunch if you're on the run. Mm. Do you know what? Not a lot of garlic, so you can always add more garlic if you want to. I don't know, three, four cloves, whatever. Um, but you get that, you get that lovely butter that comes through where it's cooked in, and then also you get the the lemon and the salt and pepper. Mm. Bit of instant rubbish mash. Wow, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that quick, easy meal. 20 minutes, virtually healthy really. You might as well say that is healthy apart from the butter, but who cares? Quick, easy meal, 20 minutes. There you go. Hope you enjoyed. There will be, I'm gonna try my best to get this up. You've probably noticed the cupboards, yes, because they're in the garage drying. We are finishing them off. It probably looks like a right state, so I'll stand here so my mum don't go, oh, you got all that rubbish in the cupboard. Um, I have to go through the video to make sure there's no, I don't think there's any documents or addresses on show. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. I'm going to try and get it up today. Um, where's my phone? As you can tell, I'm never prepped for videos. Um, I don't know where my phone is. Anyway, yeah, let's try and find how's the calendar. That's right, because the calendar is normally on a door, but the doors are wet in the garage, being painted. Um, we are at today, Monday the eighth of June. Wow. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get it up today, and then I'll also probably try and upload a video on Wednesday as well with my mum because I know my mum's probably got some videos to do as well so yeah if you enjoyed that video please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already turn the little bell notification on so you get notified whenever we upload a video excuse me and yeah just thank you to all the new subscribers that have been subscribing lately and to obviously all the the people that have been with us from day one um, very blessed and very grateful hope you all have Oh, what's the time? A wonderful afternoon and evening. See you guys in the next video.